Welcome back to the next video in today's video i will show you how to create app shortcuts like dynamic app shortcuts or static app shortcuts in react native's new architecture without using any third party library so yeah let's get started uh, let's have a look at the output uh, of our demo so here is my android project uh, sorry my android app and if i long click on this here you can see like uh, there is one shortcut uh, which is already added as soon as the app is installed like this is called a, a static shortcut which is automatically added the user doesn't have to uh, do anything uh, and second is dynamic shortcut so if i open my app i can click on dynamic shortcut button uh, so the shortcut has been added and if i go to my app again and here you can see like coding with nobody uh, that shortcut has been added so dynamic shortcut uh, you might have seen it for whatsapp so if you are chatting with a user uh, frequently then uh, that user uh, shortcut has automatically added to your whatsapp app and suppose uh, later on if you decide to delete the chat or you are not talking with that user frequently then uh, that shortcut dynamic shortcut is automatically removed as well so to remove the shortcut just click on remove dynamic shortcut and if i go back to the output uh, here you can see that uh, that dynamic shortcut has been removed. back to the uh, so this is our app right and if i click on uh, this uh, static uh, shortcut so here you can see uh, the text above has been changed to static suppose if i add dynamic shortcut i'll go back to my app I'll long press i'll click on dynamic shortcut here you can see the text has been changed you will have to enable the new architecture and to enable the new architecture you can just go to documentation this video is only for android so you have to search for new arc enable it should be present inside android gradle dot properties and make this as true so i have already done that over here as you can see next uh, for static shortcut we don't have to uh, do any turbo module setup so what i have done is that i will open the android folder inside android studio next uh, i have added two drawable icons one for uh, dynamic shortcut and one for static shortcut you can add whatever you want to next inside strings.xml i have added these three labels for uh, static shortcuts uh, we need to add this and we can't directly hard code those because otherwise uh, android studios throws compile uh, time error that's why i had to add this and here inside uh, res you will have to create a folder called xml inside that create shortcuts.xml and here you can see i am referencing this uh, uh, strings.xml file over here so yeah so firstly also uh, for static shortcuts you will have to update the main hdk version to 25 uh, next going back to shortcuts.xml uh, file firstly so here inside shortcuts uh, tag you can add multiple shortcuts so i have given the first shortcut id as static uh, the value enabled is true give some icons give some short label long label and disabled message and here i have created an intent and this should be your package name okay so my package name is com.rnapp if you want to know your package name just go to build.gradle and this would be your package name uh, and this should be uh, which activity you want to refer to so it will be mostly main activity in react native because that is the only one activity which you have and here you will have to give a shortcut id as well as a value so now this can be anything uh, so this is kind of like a key and this is kind of like a value to help us identify which shortcut has been pressed by the user uh, so whether it was a static id or whether it was a dynamic id so this key and value can be anything uh, next uh, what you'll have to do you'll have to go to android manifest.xml and here for within the activity tag you will have to add this metadata for our static shortcut next you will have to go to uh, your main activity so i'll just go to kotlin plus java main activity dot java and here uh, you will have to override this on create method and here you will have to write this handle intent and inside handle intent you can see first i'm getting a use of the getting the context which will help us to uh, send data back to react native side and here you can see if the static uh, uh, shortcut was pressed then i'm just sending a result back of static okay so if you remember we had uh, given this key of shortcut underscore id right so over here and the value was static so that's how we recognize okay the st uh, static uh, shortcut was pressed there is one issue 
currently Re i'm not able to send back uh, this uh, data back to react native side i think the issue is happening because uh, i have added an event listener if you see inside app.tsx uh, but it is not working because i think uh, this uh, component loading takes a lot of time and by that this has already sent a message and there is no one to receive it so i think a, a workaround would be you can save it inside preferences data store or shared preferences on the kotlin side itself and inside use effect you can check whether the preferences data store has any uh, value or not and depending on that you can redirect to an appropriate screen or to perform any action in your react native app unfortunately this is not working for you but i even i wanted to show it to you guys uh, so that's my hunch that's why i think it's not working because i have uh, multiple signs if you are following my channel you might be knowing that i have i do like i have created multiple tutorials in which i am sending data from uh, native android to react native side so i don't think there is an issue with the code i think the issue is with uh, react native getting a uh, setup late like that component getting set up late so i think that's the issue but yeah you can easily work it around so that's it for static shortcut now for dynamic shortcut we will be following turbo module so firstly go to build.gradle i have updated the kotlin version to 1.8.20 next uh, create a folder called rtr my dynamic shortcut inside that package.json again i have copy pasted it from the docs only this name changes uh, this name changes uh, this changes and this changes everything else remains the same next create a pod spec file again i have copy pasted it from docs only this name changes everything else remains the same uh, next i have created a js file inside that i have created a typescript file again i have copied everything from the docs and i have added two methods add dynamic and remove dynamic and this name changes next create an android folder inside that create a build.gradle file again i have copy pasted everything from the docs only uh, this i have added this apply plugin this package name changes and this i have added for kotlin standard lib next i have created an src folder inside that i have created this src main java com rt and my dynamic shortcut i have created a package file package kotlin file uh, oh sorry i think i forgot something i forgot to replace this Good. oh no this is the wrong file here as well i think i forgot sorry about that so because i do all the editing in android studio i don't do it in vs code like this kotlin code because android studio provide proper intelligence that's why i forgot to paste it over here uh, next uh, so I, we have created this package class and again i have copy pasted it from the docs only this names of dynamic module changes okay and this package name changes everything else remains the same and inside my dynamic shortcut module so here i am doing another hack because we require a reference to the main activity and this is a turbo module we can't get a reference to the main activity so as an hack what i am doing i am asking for internet permission i know that internet permission is by default granted but yeah I, I don't know a better way at least at that at this time of recording the react native does not provide a better way of getting access to the main activity itself so here as you can see i'm asking for adding dynamic shortcut i'm adding asking for the internet permission but for removing i can easily remove it all i require is this shortcut id so we are setting the shortcut id as well so this is how you can remove uh, any time any type of dynamic shortcut you just require the shortcut id so here you can see we are asking for uh, internet permission and this gives a callback to the main activity so if you go to the main activity over here what i have done is that i have added this permission and the callback goes over here and once we get a callback i am creating our dynamic shortcut so here you can see i am using the same dynamic id which we were using for removing it as well so be careful with this next you can set a short label set a long label you can set an icon to whatever you want and here uh, because of this we require active uh, access to this main activity i was not able to write inside turbo mode and here you can see inside put extra i'm uh, creating a key of shortcut underscore id and a value of dynamic so that's what we are doing shortcut underscore id and here will be the callback so yeah that's how you set a shortcut uh, dynamic shortcut now if you want a tutorial for pin shortcut as well do let me know like i have never seen any user using pin shortcuts uh, but yeah 
and so that's how uh, it is now uh, before you run the app you will have to go to your terminal go to the root of your react native project then run this command first once you do that you will have to do cd dot dot it will move you outside your react native project and then you will have to run this command but here instead of rn app you will have to replace with your own project name my project name is rn app over here over here as well as over here next you will have to cd to android and you will have to run this command so this will do code generation for android as well and next to use it as you can see i have imported our rt and my dynamic shortcut i have created two buttons for it and for adding dynamic shortcut and removing dynamic shortcut and i also have created a text and but unfortunately this is not working because the reason i told you same for the reason is same for dynamic shortcut the one which we faced for static shortcut but yeah if you want to go ahead you can use it you can again similarly do the same thing like add it to a preferences data store or a shared preferences and instead use effect you can check whether some data was added to preferences data store if yes then according to whatever data was added you can do any kind of an operation so yeah that's it uh, i think uh, thank you for watching bye